this is Jake, and today I have something really awesome to show you. Today I have randomized scripting events that you can do for your maps. So this is like, imagine like random weapon placements, random like map geometry changes, etc, etc. This is mostly for infection. This wouldn't work out really well in a core game as you have to do these teleporter things. The only way in Halo's Forge right now to represent true randomness is through teleporters because if I have an alpha what's it called these are all on alpha and I go through this it randomly chooses one of those teleporters to go through and that works perfectly in infection because in infections you want these zombies to be able to get the drop on on the humans in their spawning patterns rather than having a proximity spawning patterns like regular scoring systems work out uh, spawning systems working so, well, it's enough of me talking, I'll go through and I'll show you how it works. I go through the teleporter here, and looks like this time I have gotten the assault rifle. Right now, this is randomized for three sections. So, what I did here is I just showed a geometry, tra geometry change and so forth. And we have, to the right here, we have the assault rifle that can actually respawn. And to the left, we have one that does not respawn. So there are actually multiple ways you can make a randomized weapon spawn in as a random weapon placement and have a spawning pattern. As you saw, that just despawned and respawned, as you have to do that in order for it to work, and so forth. And these other ones just have different weapons and different geometry things. And also, another thing is, you can keep this in your spawning teleporter thing. Like, you could go through these teleporters again and so forth. So say I go through again and I get a different one here. It's not going to override that one because I've done some scripting magic, <laughs> you could say. So that's what I have here. I'm going to take you into Forge to show how to make it. All right, so here we are in Forge and let's explain how to do this. The first thing you want to do is set up a sender node and in your infection map or whatever it may be, I'm going to use infection as an example, you would probably turn up the radius, so you'd go to the shape, and you'd increase the radius by a bit, and then you'd put a sp like your spawn, the initial spawn or respawn points on this area. And what that would do is it allows your spawning so that people don't have to run into your teleporters when they spawn; they'll just immediately teleport. And then, and that's how you'd create randomized spawning within an infection map. Then what you have to do is add receiver nodes, and these are your spawn points throughout your infection map. And these will need to have also be on alpha, so forth. All of them need to be on alpha, or, yeah, so forth. So if they're on the same teleporter channel, basically then what you can do is add on enter on zones, these triggers, right? So as soon as the player goes through these teleporters, they have now activated the trigger. This trigger, so let's start with the first trigger here, needs to be on power channel four and broadcast channel zero. Then for option number two here, we need to have it on power channel five and broadcast channel one. Then over here, we need this to be on power channel six, broadcast channel two, all right? Then we have a little bit of scripting logic over here, and this logic is what allows the scripting to act, what's called, when you use one, disables the others. That's mainly what this is for. So let's start with this timer on once. This timer on once is on broadcast channel three, and that's it. Then we go to a timer on here. This timer on is power channel three, broadcast channel four. This timer on next to that is broadcast power channel three, broadcast channel five. And this timer here is for power channel three, broadcast channel six. This timer basically turns on three separate timers so we can now disable them using this logic here. So let's start here. We have a timer off and this is power channel one, broadcast channel four. This one here is power channel zero, broadcast channel five. This one here is power channel zero, broadcast channel six. This timer off is power channel two, broadcast channel four. This one is 
Power Channel 2, Broadcast Channel 5, and this is Power Channel 1, Broadcast Channel 6. Excuse me, I had to do a little bit of a cut there. Stuff in my house, I guess, best way to say. So now let's go over to your options here, like what, what your randomness has activated. So what we have here is, let's start with the stuff that just spawns in once and never has to respawn. So what you want to do for things that only spawn at once is make sure they're on spawn time never, advance, place, and start false, and then scripting needs to be candy spawn true. And for your first option here, you need to have a spawn channel of zero. And that hooks up to that. Then the same thing occurs if you're trying to do a geometry change where you have different objects in the map. So you have place that start false, candy spawn true, spawn channel zero, spawn time never. Same thing with that. So what that does here is it just spawns something in on the map based off of your randomness. Um, so that can be just that. So you could have in option number two, the same thing occurs, spawn time never, advanced place to start false, candy spawn true, spawn channel one, because this is broadcast channel one. And same occurs here, advance, place it, start, falls, candy, spawn, true, one, and spawn time of never. Then this one will be spawn time never, advance, place, start, falls, candy, spawn, true, spawn channel of two. And the same up here, place, start, falls, candy, spawn, true, spawn channel two, spawn time never. And that will create your object that is spawned in once. If you're having a random weapon set on your thing, then you need to go into your settings here. Um, and let's go make sure at the very, um, go to advanced. And at the very bottom here, you want to have a max count of 32. That makes it so in case when we have a respawn thing like these ones are, um, that you need to pick them. What's called when you pick one up, it can still spawn in a new one, basically. So. That is for activating random, just one-time event things, but say you want a weapon that spawns in randomly, based off the randomness circuits, that you want to have a spawn time. So for that we have a, uh, we'll do this. So let's start on your uh, your assault rifle here, which is spawn time never, place a start falls, candy spawn true, and this is on spawn channel of nine. And this is for option number one. So then you need a timer on once, which is on power channel zero, broadcast channel eight, timer user data of one. Then you need a timer on once, what's it called, which needs to be on power channel zero, broadcast channel nine. Then here you need a, what's it called, a timer toggle, which needs to be power channel eight, broadcast channel nine, and timer user data of 30 seconds. And... The same here, power channel zero, well, except with the power channel. Power channel zero, broadcast channel nine, with 30 seconds. This is for a 30 second respawn. Right now, this setup right here only goes to 100 second respawn time, Max, maximum. You cannot have anything over that, sadly, um, in this scenario. So um, over here, you now have power channel, well, well let's start with this, all, uh, the rocket launcher. The rocket launcher is on spawn channel 11, candy spawn true, place to start false, spawn time never. And then the timer on once we have here is power channel 1, broadcast channel 10, and timer user data of 1 second, must be 1 second. Then over here you have power uh, timer on once, power channel 1, broadcast channel 11. And then over here we have a timer toggle, which is power channel 10, broadcast channel 11, and your spawn time. And another timer toggle with it, which is power channel one, broadcast channel 11, and timer user data of 30 seconds. And for the final one here, advanced place start false, candy spawn, candy spawn true, spawn time never, and this needs to be on a spawn channel of 13. And let's see, now we go into here. The timer on once you have first is power channel two, broadcast channel 12 and timer user data of one second. Then your timer on once here is power channel two, broadcast channel 13. 
that up here we have a timer toggle, which is power channel 12, broadcast channel 13, and your spawn time. And over here we have power channel 2, broadcast channel 13, with your spawn time again. So that, what's it called? These will um, have your, what's it called? When you create a random weapons kind of thing here, so say you go through your teleporter and activate assault rifle, in this case, you could have a whole weapon set, a variety of weapons on the map based on this one assault rifle scripting. You could have them all in the same spawn time so forth. So you could have assault rifle shotguns all around your map with all these same settings as this, and you could activate that. So basically what you can do in your infection maps is make the weapons, how they're set up, unpredictable as they are randomized. So then you have option two here with the rockets. So you say you have a whole different weapon set around the map different assault rifles in different places, so forth. Um, and that will allow you to have a randomized, just overall, that, same with the third set. And that will create a, um, how do I describe it, unpredictable inf uh, infection round. Yeah, big thanks to Mr. Pokefile for actually giving me the, I, asking me to make a random weapon sets. And that actually leads to random weapon events completely. So... That's what I have for you today. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Later.